Greg Hathaway, and I'm an assistant creative director in MoMA's department of graphic design and advertising. Okay, uh, great. So uh, we talked about uh, a little bit about you know the relationship within formal and formal, and mm -hmm. um, what the, when it comes to your day by day work, how do you manage this, and could you tell us something about this? Um, I well, I think it's our department's job to kind of broadcast for the museum, um, and I think that we we have to kind of project and amplify what's happening inside these museum walls, but we also need to make it um, accessible and understandable to the general public. Um, so for us, that means everything from the title wall outside the gallery that is kind of with intro text and graphics and everything else, distilling the essence of the show and making that within the museum kind of an, almost an ad for the show. Um, but then paid media advertising, then social media, um, and I think we're, I mean, we're constantly trying to reach new audiences or look at the work in a fresh way that, that gets people interested quickly so they can come check it out. Okay, great. So, and um, you have a specific uh, thing that regards maybe the digital side of it, uh, how, you, how you deal with that on the, on the digital part? Um, sure. I mean, you know, our department isn't strictly digital, um, but we do everything from, you know, banner ads, which is kind of like, I guess, the table stakes or foundation of, of what you need to do for advertising. Um, but then also, we'll work with the digital department on apps and websites, um, and we're also trying to collaborate more and more on video, um, because routinely, what I think and we think is is interesting to the public is is the story behind an artist's work or an exhibition. Um, and uh, you know, Ingrid worked on inventing abstraction, and that that exhibition had a core story running through it. I mean, it had a real driving um, narrative. So it was, it was very easy to, for us to kind of pick that up and make it more interesting um, and more alive in all of our communications. It helps you a lot telling stories in a more uh, dynamic way, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you kind of have to extract the essence of that ex exhibitions or um, the show and then somehow communicate that in a very instant, short time period mm -hmm. through advertising or marketing campaign. Okay, uh, so Ingrid, yes. uh, would you, I don't know, say something about some specific work you're doing uh, that, you, I don't know, deals with the relationship and, and how it helps you, mm -hmm. how the digital side helps you uh, develop in this work? Okay, um, I'm Ingrid Cho, I am assistant creative director at the advertising and graphic design department here at museum and most of my works uh, is focusing on exhibition design and also we sort of handle the entire museum internal department as our sort of internal clients we handle all the work for them as well and just use exhibition exhibition design as, a, as an example the the digital resource for us is our tool. That is the tools that we use on a daily basis and that's help us find the resource we need to uh, use it for our projects or help us communicate exhibitions okay. and advertising in the marketing. Okay. Yeah. Is this like a baseline or something? It's baseline, it's like, you know, the old fashioned pencil and eraser, you know, rulers sort of thing. It's part of our life. It It's not something that you could avoid. Right. Yeah. Okay, and like based on your experience, so not from an institutional point of view, but on your day-by-day -day experience, uh, do you think the, uh, the digital media side of it, of communication and maybe also of sharing contents uh, is uh, as being a substitute for real experience in the museum or, or how, is, how does it relate to actually visiting the building? I think it's definitely enhanced it. It's, there's no way you could substitute a real thing and people know that. Um, and then the thing is we also want to reach out to the younger generations and this is something they look for. 
if you ask them, do you know such institution, the first thing they do is they go on website, try to Google you, or they jump on Facebook, try to find who you are. This is their resource, and we need to be out there for them in order to make that connection, engage with them, you know? Yeah, I mean, we have to, we have to be there in order to be found, you know, um, on, on a base level. And then I think that it really is just, just an extension of, of what we're doing here. Um, I mean, we're not, it's funny because in the museum world or lexicon, we're not like, we don't have old muskets or, you know, <laughs> plates or, you know, old oil paintings. Um, it's modern art and it's, it's hard to define and hard for people to understand. And I think people um, routinely have kind of their own set of baggage when they're, when they hear about modern art, if they're not familiar with it or not, um, you know, fans of it. Um, so I think digital helps kind of, it's, a, it's another tool to just kind of knock down whatever assumptions people have or, or show them something new that they didn't expect um, that, again, just excites them or entices them to come visit us, you know. And also a lot of people want to sort of kind of do a little research afterward. And mm -hmm. this is where they go to. And this is where you can actually enhance your information, you know, any additional educational material that you wanted to pass on. Most of people only spend probably like an hour or two within the museum. Afterward, this is this is where you get them. Absolutely. You know? This is the museum in a way. Afterwards, it doesn't stop at the bookshop. That exactly. Yeah. You have something more. Yeah. And that's hugely important and so exciting too. I mean, for someone, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it, I'll leave a museum, I'll routinely forget the best work that I saw or someone's name or the details. Um, I'll remember an experience, but I won't remember exactly who made it and what it was. And it's great to have you know, the digital function. You can just look that up or, yeah. um, I mean, a lot of museums are talking these days about uh, kind of archiving your experience or kind of almost like bookmarking what you saw. And that's great. And then you share them. Yeah. You share your trip here and then that is through mm -hmm. digital media, social media. Yeah. That's a whole other thing. I mean, you have, you essentially have people broadcasting their experience here, which, I mean, they're really doing our work for us in a way, you know. It's the best advertising, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's the best advertising. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.